Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yin Long. I appreciate the opportunity to give my presentation. The subject of my presentation is an improved Nidham Schroeder session key distribution protocol for a micro CAN network. Before we start our presentation, let Take a brief look at security threats in the Invico network. With the rapid development of automobile technology, the internal network of automobiles is facing more and more security problems. Some attackers can penetrate the automobile system via unsecure communication connections. There are four main reasons we summarized. The first is that many car systems lack of access control. By which anyone can access the internal status of the car. The second is the broadcast communication mechanism of, of cameras. The third is that communication protocol lack of an effective authentication mechanism. The final reason is that many data frames are non-encrypted so it may cause data leakage. Facing these security problems, many CAM-based secure communication schemes have been proposed. They can be divided into four aspects. First is authentication and key agreement protocol in CAMBAS. Second is key management scheme for in ECUs. Third is CAM-based intrusion detection system. Last is K-generation and secure distribution protocol. Some of these schemes in practice may cause higher power consumption or not meet the lowest demand of communication for CAN bus if the realization of cryptography algorithm is complex. So we take a classic session key distribution protocol into CAN bus security and fix its defects with some improved modifications. Let's review the system architecture of Inaiko network. There are many subnets running different kinds of protocols in the network. These subnets are connected by the central gateway in our proposed protocol, we call the gateway module as GECU, a special kind of ECU. The process of classic NSSK protocol is on the left. It has a defect that may suffer the Daniel Cycle attack. When someone impersonates the identity of sender ECU A, to replay message in steps 3 to 5 with ECOB. Because ECOB cannot distinguish whether the message comes from the real ECOA or attacker, so it will confirm the false session key sent by attacker and replace the true session key with ECOA. Before present our session key distribution protocols, Let's review some notations of cryptography items, which will be shown. We define three different types of keys. There are system key for encryption, system key for authentication, and long-term symmetric keys for encryption and authentication, respectively. And KDF presents key one-way function used for key derivation. And each presence kit has message authentication code function. Now begin to introduce our system key distribution protocols. We briefly introduced the initial SKDP by which ECOA and ECOB get the same session key from the seed generated by GECU. At the first ECUA choose a random number RA and send it to GECU. GECU generates a random seed and calculates the message authentication code MAC0. Then GECU 
encrypt the seed and max zero with symmetric key and names it TB and encrypts the seed and the TB with symmetric key and names it Y1. Then calculates the message authentication code MAC1 of Y1. Finally, sends MAC1 Y1 to ECUA. When ECUA receives the data, it verifies MAC1 and decrypt Y1 for seed and TB and run key there vision function to generate session key pair EK and AK. Then use private key to sign the message TB and timestamp T to get signature Z. Then ECUA sends TB, Z and T to ECUB. When ECUB receives the Z and T, it verifies the signature Z and check the timestamp T. If the examination is passed, the ECB decrypts TB for seed and MAC0. ECB verifies MAC0 to guarantee the integrity of its seed, then runs key derivation function to generate a session key, pair ECK and AK. Now ECUA and ECUB finish the session key distribution process with GECU and finally get the session key pair. There are some remaining steps in the protocol to confirm the session key between ECUA and ECUB, like our original NSSK does. Our main modifications are the application of signature mechanism for authenticating the identity of ECUA and time stepping to resist replay attack. The second SKDP I we proposed is used for transport the same session key to the other ECU within the communication group. It has only a small difference with the process of initial SKDP. We can find there is a similar process from the first type in second SKDP with which is in the initial SKDP. So we won't repeat it. To give a formal security analysis of our protocol suite, we use dollar with your adversary model to prove the security. As is depicted in the slide, we define five games G0 to G4. SI is the event when adversary win the game GI. We give the advance of adversary in G0 and the rights advances in its two neighbor games as follow. Finally, according to the Tringo equality, we calculate the advance of adversary between G0 and G4, which is negligible. So we conclude that the ones of adversary to break the protocol security is negligible too. Our protocol is provable secure. We use the timeline prover to verify the semantic security of protocol. We write the four different lemmas for security verification in our session key distribution protocols. The first is executability, and the second is session key security. The third is injective agreement, and the last is non-injective agreement. By running Cameron Prover, we find the four lemmas are successfully verified. So our protocol suite is semantic secure. Finally, we gave a chart to show the comparison of our new protocol suite and our original NSSK. Our new protocol is the rightest column in the chart. Compare our new protocol suite with others. There are some benefits in our scheme. 
Our scheme can resist many kinds of known attacks. Besides, our scheme have explicit key authentication and support neutral entity authentication. Our scheme security is probable and consider key synchronization within the group. So our scheme has more better features than our original NSSK and improve the scheme of others. In conclusion, we propose an improved key update scheme based on Needham's Roder SKDP to distribute decision keys. We solve the shortcomings of original scheme lack of resistance to replay attack. We execute formal analysis on new protocol by using the random oracle model to simulate Krapita graphic games. The result proves the semantic security of the protocol and ensures the verifiability of key distribution process. By using the TimeLimp tool to verify the security properties of the protocol, it proves that the protocol has security objectives such as neutral entity authentication, explicit key confirmation, key authentication, and session key confidentiality. My presentation is over. Thank you.